The attack by Iranian kamikaze drones of Ukraine on the night of December 18th was the most powerful for the entire time of their use by Russian troops. Although the most of the Shahids are being shot down by the Ukrainian anti-air missile forces, Moscow has agreed with Tehran on a new batch of deadly weapons. President Volodymyr Zelensky said on December 19th during his address at the meeting of the leaders of the United Kingdom's Joint Expeditionary Force. These are the Shahids from the new batch that Russia received from Iran, 250 units. This is the total number of Shahids now received by the terrorist state. Russian missiles and Iranian drones are constantly being used to strike primarily on our energy infrastructure. And you know all the details about this. Ukrainian defenders have shot down 67 Iranian kamikaze drones in Ukrainian airspace in three weeks of December. The enemy really began to launch drones across Ukraine more intensively after a long pause. Yuri Ignat, the spokesperson of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, said at the briefing and clarified that the geography of launches had changed. Actually, we've got 67 unmanned aerial vehicles of this type knocked down since December 7th. It's only hit, of course. Not all of them we managed to shoot down, but sometimes it's 100% shot down. They are now launching UAVs from a different location. It used to be Crimea, the temporarily occupied Ukrainian Crimea, and the Kherson region. But now they have already moved the launch points to the Krasnodar region. This is the eastern coast of the Sea of Azov. The Shahids fly across our territory specifically from that direction. Russia is seeking more weapons from Iran, including hundreds of ballistic missiles, and is offering Tehran an unprecedented level of military and technical support in return, the UK ambassador to the UN Barbara Woodward said on December 9th. Since August, Tehran has transferred hundreds of UAVs to Moscow, breaking international law. Russia has used those Iranian drones to kill civilians and illegally target civilian infrastructure, wiping out homes, electricity, power supply, schools, hospitals. Russia is now attempting to obtain more weapons, including hundreds of ballistic missiles. In return, in return, Russia is offering Iran an unprecedented level of military and technical support. We're concerned that Russia intends to provide Iran with more advanced military components, which will allow Iran to strengthen their weapons capability. During his speech in the British Parliament on December 20th, the Secretary of State for Defense of UK, Ben Wallace, bluntly said that Iran had become Russia's main military patron. In return for having supplied more than 300 kamikaze drones, Russia now intends to provide Iran with advanced military components, undermining both military, both Middle East and international security. And we must expose that deal. In fact, I have just now. Sir Roger. Make no mistake, Mr Speaker, the UK's assistance to Ukraine will remain unwavering, and I'm grateful to the Prime Minister for his continuing support. Iran admitted to supplying the drones to Moscow in response to an Allied demand in November. But they in Tehran said that the drones have been sent before the war against Ukraine. Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, denied that the Russian military had been using drones from Iran during a meeting on December 9th. The Russian military industrial complex is able to cope with any tasks, and we do not need anyone's help. But the Ukrainian military industry practically does not exist, and the military industrial complex of Western states works for it. In addition, Western arms companies receive huge profits from this, which they do not intend to lose for the sake of establishing peace. The UK, US and European Union have imposed sanctions on Iranian military and defense officials who are believed to be involved in the supply of Iranian drones. The Allied countries also asked the UN to send experts to Ukraine to inspect the knocked down drones. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said in early December that the United Nations was looking into available information about allegations that Iran had supplied drones to Russia. Without waiting for the commission to be sent to Ukraine, the United States lashed out at the UN leadership and said that Guterres has succumbed to Russian threats at the last meeting on December 19th. Russia first started using Iranian drones toward the end of last summer. Ukraine duly reported the violation to the United Nations. 
Other countries, including the United States, have since supplied the UN with additional information and analysis regarding this violation. We regret that the UN has not moved to carry out a normal investigation of this reported violation. For seven years, the UN's mandate to report on implementation of Resolution 2231 has been clear and unquestioned. We are disappointed that the Secretariat, apparently yielding to Russian threats, has not carried out the investigatory mandate this Council has given it. Vasily Nebinza, the Russian permanent representative to the UN, told the Security Council on December 19th that UN officials should not give in to pressure from Western countries and that any results of this pseudo-investigation are not valid, Reuters reports. With such statements, the Kremlin is driving itself further into a corner because more and more countries and international organizations recognize Russia as a terrorist country. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Natalia Bilokudria, Evgeny Kramazin, UATV News.